Good morning, one and all, and welcome to the video. This video, I'm going to be talking about uh, update by query in Elasticsearch, which means uh, usually whenever a certain criteria satisfy, you want to update one document or many documents. So essentially, we will be taking an example of, uh, a, uh, we'll, we'll create a small test index, and then we'll see how we can use update by query in Elasticsearch. So stay tuned with this video, uh, and uh, there's a small demo uh, right after this. So I'm going to share my screen, and hopefully you guys can see. All right, so I'm here. Uh, let me open up my scratch pad. So the first thing uh, we need to do is I'm gonna insert a couple of records, okay? So I'm creating a test index, and that's my email address, of course. But uh, let's uh, run that into it. Uh, let's put some more test documents. So I'm gonna add one more here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert one more, and then I'll show you the uh, update by query. So at this point, if you see, uh, if I try to query the test index, uh, you will see all these documents, right? Great. So what I want to do is uh, say now we are asked to design a system, right? Essentially, this system, uh, uh, let's say based on an email address, whenever any, let's say it's a job application system or any, any sort of system, right? So based on a particular email address, you wanna add field to it. Maybe it's an active email or inactive email. So say someone said that this is not an active email, you wanna mark those things in Elasticsearch. So find up, find one and update query is what we're trying to learn. So uh, in order to write the query, uh, we can essentially use a Lucene, and I'm gonna show you, so we can say post test index, uh, then slash, we can use the word uh, update. As you can see, uh, it's uh, providing me IntelliSense. Uh, you can use the word update by query. I think it should be there, update by query. Oh, there you go. Uh, now over here, what I wanna do is, I wanna essentially use a query. Uh, and what I'm gonna say is, I'm, I'm using a match phrase. Match phrase means match the entire phrase. Uh, over here, I'm saying now, email. Okay, so wherever this criteria is satisfied, what, what do I want to do? Well, I want to write a Lucene, Lucene script. So I'm going to write a script here. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, beautifully uh, <laughs> providing you uh, the uh, suggestions uh, or, or the scaffold right, right there. So uh, I'm going to source this uh, language is painless by default, so it doesn't matter. So over here, I'm going to start writing my code. So I'm going to write CTX, okay, and dot underscore, I'm going to write source and in that I want to add a field called active and uh, I would like to set this to true okay then I also want to add the date when this was uh, this email was marked active so I want to add one more field so I'll again try to copy and you need a semicolon which indicates the termination of that particular um, uh, syntax whatever so uh, at this point we'll say active date and I uh, remember uh, Lucene uh, also has all these uh, syntax, right? So I, I, as far as I remember, it's the word new date. Uh, you could set that up. So you can use the word new, and then we are creating a date object followed by semicolon. So uh, essentially what I'm trying to say here to this query is, hey, hey uh, before that, we'll uh, let, let's do a search and see. Uh, we don't have any uh, those fields, right? So when I run this query right here, uh, which says that, hey, uh, go to, uh, match uh, any document that has the email shasomil 519 at gmail.com uh, script says that hey i'm using a painless one ctx source so add a field called active set it to true and uh, active date as this so let's do that um, over here it says total two documents uh, it took 77 milliseconds uh, which is great right now if we try to search the documents uh, uh, so where okay over here where my email address was there, right? So we added a date object, and then we added a, a, a field called mapping as true. So now maybe, you know, you could filter out uh, documents. Hey, give me all the people that those are active in Elasticsearch. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So all that, uh, there are a couple of more points that I have taken on my, um, you know, WordPad while I was reading is uh, you can update documents in multiple stream as well or indices. So you could specify multiple indices if you want. Another cool feature is by default, uh, if say uh, your query matches, um, let's say 5,000 or 10,000 records, right? So Elasticsearch uses the batch approach. By default, it's set to 1,000, but uh, you have the ability to change uh, the scroll scroll size, right? 
but for more document for more information uh, come to this website uh, i'll leave the links uh, here uh, they have much more detail here uh, you know there, there's uh, there's a lot more you can create pipelines and, and, and a lot of fancy stuff but as i said don't want to go too 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 crazy uh, hopefully the concepts uh, should be important and with that being said thank you so much for watching we'll learn more and more about elastic search we'll have more tutorials on elastic search i know a lot of people are saying hey how do we do, do this in elastic search write me your questions and we'll make more and more videos on elastic search all right thank you thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed it if you did enjoy uh, make sure to hit that like button and as usual guys keep smiling keep programming uh, see you guys in the next video